Good morning, class. Uh, so let's try to solve uh, uh, some of the board problems here. I hope you have uh, tried solving it. So I'll just give you an idea on on uh, the procedure and the formula to be used. Uh, because the answers are already uh, uh, enumerated below. So this is actually a multiple choice uh, question, but uh, the uh, choices were not uh, given. So the, 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 the direct answers were already the ones uh, given below. So all we need is to solve and try to uh, verify if uh, the results are the same. Okay. So for problem lecture 1.3, this is a C board. Uh, problem November 1999 spiral column has a diameter of uh, 600 millimeter so if FC prime is 21 megapascal and FY equals uh, 275 megapascal uh, the following questions are ought to be answered okay so for the first question we have uh, here uh, a question on the uh, minimum diameter of the spiral reinforcement so the first uh, requirement can actually be taken from the code not directly from the code and if we lo look into the to the uh, lecture I gave you although uh, the updated code today may be different but uh, I don't think uh, it will be uh, uh, very uh, far in terms of values okay so all you need is to look into the condition if uh, the uh, main reinforcement is uh, 32 mm diameter bar and smaller in size your ds is 10 and if it is uh, 36 and larger it is 12 okay so what's the minimum now so we choose the smallest or the smaller because as I have told you uh, we can choose uh, a, a diameter uh, smaller than 10 because this is the uh, smallest that we we can have in terms of the American uh, standard and we cannot also exceed 12 uh, we can but uh, it's not practical to do it okay so the minimum uh, diameter of the spiral the answer will be uh, uh, 10 millimeter so that is actually uh, the the, uh, the specific answer for number one okay for number two we are asked to find the percentage uh, of the spiral steel ratio which is uh, given here in the formula above okay so we have two formula actually but this formula is uh, used to solve for the spacing okay so remember that uh, this is used to solve for the spacing of spiral and the formula on top is the one that is used to solve for the uh, steel ratio okay so this one here is the code formula for your minimum ratio of spiral reinforcement so we only need to determine what is your a gross and uh, a core or AC and uh, everything will be a direct substitution okay so in this figure you you can see that uh, the diameter of the core is simply uh, the whole diameter of the spiral subtracted by the uh, clear cover here okay so we simply subtract uh, d minus 80 there so you get the cord <coughs> excuse me the core diameter okay so uh, we can now write it here your uh, dc is simply 
D minus twice your clear cover. Okay, so this is uh, simply uh, 600 minus 2 times 40. You will obtain now here 520 millimeter. In which your A core or the area of the core can now be computed by a simple formula pi over 4, uh, then 520 square. Okay. So for the diameter, the whole diameter 600, you can get your A gross. Okay, so where A gross is simply pi over 4 of your uh, 600 square. Such that your formula for rho s can now be uh, obtained from the formula given by the code, so which is ag minus ac minus 1 multiplied by fc prime over fy where in fc prime over fy are given here in this problem okay so we just simply plug in so this is point 0.45 ag is uh, pi over 4 600 okay pi over 4 uh, times uh, 600 square all over a pi over 4 520 square okay so we can actually cancel uh, pi over 4 there so that our remaining values here are 600 square and 520 square subtract it uh, by 1 then you get 21 all over 21 all over 275 megapascal so your raw s must be 1.139 percent okay so just try to check of course this must be multiplied by 100 percent to get percentage value okay so you just try it uh, in your calculator so uh, maybe we can check it now okay so it's uh, 0 0.01139 uh, one, one, multi 11381 uh, one, one, multiplied by 100 is 1.139 percent okay for the last uh, requirement we have uh, we are asked to find the spacing of the spiral so we simply equate this with this formula no? so directly we can now make use of this formula to solve for s where s now is simply equal to 4as uh, dc minus uh, db the diameter of the bar uh, all over uh, dc squared times rho s okay so direct substitution so we simply by the way what is as here so we're as is simply the area of the spiral reinforcement okay so take note this is the area of the spiral a bar okay reinforcement okay so the area of the spiral reinforcement is just an area of a circle with the diameter 10 so we can now uh, have it here this is 4 times uh, pi over 4 multiplied by 10 square dc is 520 minus db is uh, 28 uh, i think okay so this is 28 uh, millimeter divided by 520 squared times 0 0.00 it must be in decimal not in percent 0013 1139 
0.01139 okay so uh, computation uh, using calculator we will must yield of course uh, roughly okay 50 millimeter of course you have to round it no uh, round it up to the nearest on the choice so th this is a multiple choice problem you pick uh, the nearest in the choice but uh, this is already the answer uh, just round it up to the to the uh, uh, nearest uh, uh, maybe uh, 50 millimeter or sorry uh, 5 millimeter 5 or 10 or uh, 50 millimeter so in your examination I will tell you how to round it okay so here the uh, value is approximately very very near to 50 uh, millimeter okay so let's uh, double check it 5 or 4 times 4 cancel so this is uh, times uh, 520 minus 28 divided by 520 square times uh, Okay, the exact answer is up to the uh, 50.186 millimeter. Okay, so roughly uh, the choice is very near to 50 millimeter. Okay. Okay, for the problem uh, 1.4. Uh, I think uh, there's something missing on the given value here. Okay, uh, there's a given uh, percentage. Okay, so Roji is I think uh, 2.5 percent. So, so you add it here. So what is Roji? Roji is actually your AST all over uh, the area of the steel bar total all over the area of the cross okay so this is called the uh, steel reinforcement ratio okay so it has nothing to do with the spiral reinforcement it's something to do with the main bar okay enforcement ratio uh, Okay, so rho G refers to the steel ratio of the mean longitudinal bars, and that is 2.5%. So for the uh, formula on the first one here, we have to uh, take note of our formula, so PU is equal to uh, phi times uh, 0.85 i think efficiency reduction factor efficiency and this is uh, 0.85 of f prime c the stress concrete ag plus uh, ast uh, fy minus 0.85 f prime c okay so this is the formula so where is rho g there okay so we can substitute ast by substituting rho g ag here okay so we simply substitute rho g ag here okay and solve for ag Okay, so what we, what are we going to use on the PU? The PU is actually a, a factor load using a combination given the book. Which is uh, 1.4 of the uh, uh, P dead load plus 1.7 of P live load. Okay. So the P dead load and the P live load are given in the problem. Okay. 1070 and 
980 in which this uh, will give you I think a value of uh, let's compute it so 1.4 times uh, 1070 plus One point seven times nine eight three one six four. Okay. So you plug this value here, but you have to multiply convert this into a newton no? so this is uh, 3164 times 10 to the 3 newton you substitute it here okay and then for this particular part uh, you substitute instead of, uh, of substituting ast um, you substitute the value of rho g a g and then you solve for a g okay and then to get the diameter of the spiral column, this is not the diameter of the spiral enforcements, it's the spiral column. No? So we, we just equate this with AG is equal to pi over 4 diameter squared. Okay? Then you solve for D to get 430 millimeters. So that's the way how to do it. Okay, so I will not... Uh, I'll solve it for you you have to solve it by yourself because that's an easy task to do and tell me if you have problems in the solution so that i can help you uh, verify uh, your error okay so for number two which of the following gives the number 28 uh, millimeter bar or sorry which of the following gives the number of 28 millimeter diameter main or longitudinal bar reinforcement. So we have to find how many number of uh, 28 millimeter. So we simply get the formula for the number of bars. So for number two, okay, the number of bars NOB simply equal to the area of steel divided by the area of one bar okay which is 28 so what's the area of the steel again so we can use this formula here using now your value which is 430 so this becomes point uh, rho g a g over a pi over 4 or simply a of 20 okay so what is uh, your rho g so this is point zero one one three nine hey, sorry that's the uh, old problem the previous problem I, i'm referring to this given now it's point zero two five sorry okay multiplied by a g so you get now your 430 as your diameter not the uh, uh, do not use the uh, the ag that you have computed here okay so because you have already an, an answer here use 430 now okay so this is now pi over 4 times 430 square all over okay a28 is pi over 4 times uh, 28 square okay so you can now cancel pi over 4 and compute this so the answer must be must fall on okay if you round it okay it must be approximately equal to seven bars okay you round it up do not round it down no round always upward okay if it is 6.1 you still you round it to 7 because you are designing a safe structure if you round it down then you have a unsafe design okay always round it up even if it is only 6.1 6.2 6.3 6.4 it's 7 okay
Okay, so for number three, it's the spacing of the uh, 10 millimeter column spiral, spiral. So this is just similar with this is similar with uh, the the procedure here. Okay, so you just get a spacing is equal to 4 as dc minus d over dc squared rho s where rho s is computed by the formula uh, a, a g, 0.45 ag all over ac minus 1 fc prime all over fy so that is uh, a standard step or procedure in determining your uh, spacing of the spiral Okay, so it must be 50 millimeter rounded. So I will not uh, uh, give you now uh, the uh, the uh, specific solutions. I want you to look into it. Similar with previous problem. Okay, so for number, uh, for problem 1.5, I think uh, it's just the same, okay? So, but here, uh, we are asked to determine uh, the spiral steel ratio. So, what is this spiral? This is again rho S. The required spacing S and the clear spacing between longitudinal bars. Okay, uh, for here, for number one, this is just uh, similar. Again, similar with with the previous uh, uh, problem. For S, again, it's similar. So they're just the same. And check if you can get the same result. But for number three, uh, this is quite uh, new, no? The spacing of the longitudinal bars. Okay, so how do we uh, uh, tackle on it? So we can actually draw first a circle. Okay, so this is for uh, number three question. Okay, so um, it's not a circle actually. So I may. Okay, so that's better. So if I have here how many bars? 20, 28. So I can uh, make use of. Uh, Okay, one there and then sorry. Okay, maybe one here, another one, four, uh, if you divide it by four, twenty by four, you have, must have five in each, okay? So you must have one, two, Three, four, five. Okay, so five, ten, ten, twenty. Okay, so we have here one, two, three, uh, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we have twenty bars of twenty. Okay. 
So what are we going to do now? So we need to solve for clear spacing. So we, what is now the clear spacing between these two? Okay, so this is your x. Okay, so what's x? So x has something to do with the circumference of the centroid of this bar from the center of the circle. So we need to get uh, this radius here. And this is actually the mean diameter. Okay, so your r here. Uh, is actually 2r. Okay, so this is the mean diameter as uh, defined in your lecture here. Okay, so this is the mean diameter. So all we need to do is to uh, get okay, what's the mean diameter by simply subtracting or using the formula uh, d m okay is simply equal to d minus 2cc which is dc minus db okay so this part here is simply our dc okay So the clear cover is given, must be given. Okay. And the maximum size of the aggregate is only used to check whether your clear cover and your maximum size of coarse aggregate Does not conflict each other, no? In terms of uh, the code. Okay. So we now make use of direct formula. So we have now here uh, the the circumference of the circle exactly in between the bar there. Okay. So we simply get the circumference we subtract the number of bars times the diameter okay so only we're solving for x now so x is simply the circumference pi dm minus the number of bars multiplied by the diameter okay so let's uh, make it uh, horizontal uh, let's erase it here okay so this is x so x is simply dm so pi dm minus the cover no, the number of bars multiplied by the diameter of the bar, the main bar, okay? How many bars are there? And then you have to subtract the number of bars times the diameter. So that will uh, simply allow you to have the clear spacing, no? So this is now divided by... One, two, three, four. If you, I count the spaces, the number of spaces, number of spaces. So this is equivalent to NOB minus one. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's simply equivalent to NOB. Let's check it. No? So one, two, start it here. One, two, three, four. 5, So the number of spaces is simply equal to the number of parts. So we now get pi dm 
by the way what's dm dm now becomes 600 minus 2 times 40 minus uh, 25 ah, sorry 28 I mean all over uh, no that's not a denominator okay so dm is simply equal to uh, 520 minus 20 okay which is uh, 492 so we substitute it here 492 and solve equation okay so this is minus 20 times db is 28 divided by 20 okay so x now is simply equal to Forty-nine point twenty. Okay, so I think there's an error here in the answers. Okay, so this forty-nine point twenty eight millimeter. So here this is fifty not sixty. Okay. So you just check it. Okay, so here uh, because the in the board exam you have the choices and it says here which of the following gives okay when when the when uh, when you are doing a board exam uh, a multiple choice uh, question you make use of the nearest answer so the nearest for 49.28 i think will be 50 now in terms of a, a 10 millimeter round off so this is 50 millimeter okay so that's uh, it for the uh, problem uh, 1.4 okay so i'll stop on this point because uh, the next problem is already on the loaded eccentrically loaded concrete column i still need to discuss a few uh, concepts on this before we can solve uh, this problem okay so uh, i'll see you on the next video for your uh, eccentrically loaded columns so thank you very much.